I'm Eyal from Rambam also. Um, I'm going to present another MSK quiz case, uh, courtesy of Dr. Militiano. It's a 60-year-old male with the right thigh pain and weight loss that came by to another hospital in out hours and had a CT scan. In his CT scan, as you can see, there's a large lytic lesion with, with a soft tissue component and maybe another clue that you'll be able to decipher later. So um, diagnostic possibilities based on the data we have is, as everyone used the trick before me, need more data. Um, but still, he had an MRI scan because there was something else a little bit fishy in the study. And you see that the MRI scan, had, we have the T1 with and without contrast and the CT beside it. Um, with the, an enhancing uh, soft tissue lesion, which is a, a lytic component as we saw, and uh, also an intramedullary component. Um, maybe the most important question here is, do you see anything suspicious in the MRI? We have three coronal scans, one is the steer and the other two are the T1 with and without contrast, but there's something else that's, that's fishy here, something that's uh, not uh, um, within the lesion that might direct us in the direction of the diagnosis or what's uh, weird here. And that's number one. What we see here is on the other side, on the left thigh, we see that there is a periosteal reaction. A very a wide periosteal reaction along the, the, the entire bone, um, which is actually suspicious, right? Why should he have a, a periosteal reaction on the other side of the lesion if it's a primary lesion? Sorry. Here is the periosteal reaction. Okay, you see it better here? Oh, no arrow? Yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, not, uh, I don't see any. It's supposed to be red something. Yeah. No. You see that here? So, see. Okay, thanks. So, the periosteal reaction on the other side, the large lytic lesion with the soft tissue component, where, which we saw enhancing, this is the steer. So, what we're talking about is a very wide periosteal reaction on an opposite side to a lytic lesion with the soft tissue component, a cortical lytic lesion. And the, the periosteal reaction is, is actually on the left side, it's benign, it's laminar. And the idea for the next examination is actually part of the, of the answer to the case, which is what is the next thing we're, we're looking at after it. And it's, at least here is a chest x-ray. As then you, as, and you can see that he has an opacification or in his right upper lung, which is actually a tumor, like you can see it on the CT, a lump. Something which explains the, what we see. So, na <laughs> name of the condition, probably not hip hop, right? So it's <laughs> hypertrophic pulmonary osteoarthropathy, uh, which explains the periosteal reactions that we see. So a quick recap, what we have is the lytic lesion, a cortical lytic lesion on one side with a soft tissue component, a periosteal reaction that extends to the other side, that is also in the other thigh as we can see it, and we have uh, a chest tumor. So this is the hint, at least my hint, for the name of the entire condition. Okay, <laughs> so as you probably guessed, we're talking about the cookie bite metastasis from the lung, uh, which is eccentric lytic uh, with external cortical destruction, uh, typical in long tubular bones, which is and most common in bronchogenic carcinoma. And the other thing we have, the other feature we have, is hypertrophic pulmonary osteoarthropathy. Uh, which is a common periosteal reaction in adults that have uh, um, some sort of lung lesion. It's usually symmetric, widely distributed. Here it's not symmetric because we have the soft tissue lesion on the other side that, that creates an aggressive reaction, but 
you saw how wide and, and it is on, on the left side. And there also can be associated clubbing and uh, enlargement of extremities and swollen joints. It's specifically uh, or especially linked to non-small cell, uh, non cell lung cancer, uh, which was the case here also. Um, other common causes are tumors of the proradium and the astinum, CF, pulmonary metastasis in children, and occasionally even GI diseases. This is especially for the residents in, in the audience. Sometimes we feel uh, like that when we're uh, on call or looking at the case and we need someone to open the door and help us see the light. Fortunately for us, we have Dr. Militiano who helps us do that. <laughs> and uh, lastly, movie, yeah. Yeah, obviously. Shame on you, anyone who didn't know that. Uh, take home message. A uh, cookie bite metastasis, think lung, uh, hypertrophic pulmonary osteopathy, think lung, cookie bite plus hypertrophic pulmonary osteopathy, think lung, but also have a differential, right? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>